The world has witnessed the devastating impact of pandemics. These outbreaks remind us of the vulnerability of human health. Today, a new threat emerges from the shadows, H5N1 bird flu. This virus, primarily circulating among birds, has the potential to trigger a global health crisis. H5N1 is highly lethal. The virus has a high mortality rate in humans. This lethality stems from its novelty and our lack of pre-existing immunity. In essence, our bodies are ill-equipped to fight off this unfamiliar foe. The threat of H5N1 is not theoretical. We have already witnessed its devastating effects in poultry populations worldwide. The economic impact on farmers and the food supply chain is significant. However, the potential for H5N1 to jump from birds to humans is what keeps health experts awake at night. The future of this virus remains uncertain. Will it remain largely contained to bird populations, or will it mutate, acquiring the ability to spread easily between humans? The answers to these questions will determine the course of this global health threat. H5N1 primarily spreads through direct contact with infected birds. This can occur through the handling of poultry, exposure to their droppings, or contact with contaminated surfaces. Live bird markets, particularly in Asia, pose a significant risk due to the close proximity of humans and animals. While human-to-human -human transmission is currently limited, it is not impossible. The virus has shown the ability to adapt and mutate. This raises concerns about its potential to become more easily transmissible among humans, increasing the risk of a pandemic. Symptoms of H5N1 in humans mimic those of typical influenza. Fever, cough, sore throat, muscle aches, and fatigue are common. However, H5N1 can progress rapidly, leading to severe respiratory distress, pneumonia, and even death. Understanding the modes of transmission and recognizing the symptoms of H5N1 is crucial. Early detection and isolation of cases are vital in containing the spread of the virus and preventing a larger outbreak. History provides stark reminders of the devastating impact of influenza pandemics. The 1918 Spanish flu, caused by the H1N1 virus, infected an estimated 500 million people worldwide, killing millions. The virus's ability to spread rapidly and its high mortality rate left an indelible mark on global health. The Asian flu of 1957 and the Hong Kong flu of 1968, while less deadly than the Spanish flu, still caused significant morbidity and mortality. These pandemics underscore the potential for influenza viruses to emerge, spread globally, and overwhelm healthcare systems. The lessons learned from these past pandemics are invaluable. They highlight the importance of global surveillance, rapid response, and public health interventions in mitigating the impact of such outbreaks. The threat of H5N1 serves as a stark reminder that the next pandemic is not a matter of if, but when. Learning from the past and preparing for the future is paramount in protecting global health. In the face of a potential H5N1 pandemic, global preparedness is our best defense. This includes strengthening surveillance systems to detect and track the virus's spread in both bird and human populations. Vaccine development and stockpiling are crucial. While current seasonal flu vaccines offer no protection against H5N1, research is ongoing to develop effective vaccines specifically targeting this virus. Public health education plays a vital role informing the public about the risks of H5N1, modes of transmission, and preventive measures is essential in empowering individuals to protect themselves and their communities. International collaboration is paramount. Sharing information, coordinating surveillance efforts, and working together to develop and distribute vaccines and antiviral medications are crucial in mounting a unified global response. The threat of H5N1 is real, but it is not insurmountable. By prioritizing global health preparedness, investing in research, and fostering international collaboration, we can mitigate the impact of this potential pandemic and safeguard human health.